Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I currently have sunglasses on. I'm gonna like talk about that first because my eyes are so sensitive and I have a ring light right now because where I'm filming is just not bright enough and my eyes are blue, as you guys may or may not know. Oh, just doing that hurt my eyes. They're blue and it hurts. <laughs> so we're gonna just say that first and they're just super sensitive normally I can handle a ring light But I can't today and I really wanted to film this for you guys first I'm gonna talk about the fact that I went to Victoria's Secret and I went to pink and When I went into the pink side of Victoria's Secret, they have these new Swimsuits that are XXL so I don't think that last year they had them and I got a ton You can't see them all on the bed, but I got different styles I tried them on and I know that a lot of you guys follow me because you like my body type you relate to it your wife has that body type whatever this is going to be very blunt honest and I'm gonna talk about how much I paid if I think it was worth it which ones are my favorites and which ones fit and which ones don't I also am gonna be inserting clips of me trying the stuff on so you'll really be able to see what it looks like on my body I am 5'9 I'm 297 pounds right now and I am a 42 G so these XXL tops you'll be able to see what if they fit me or not some of them really don't I will put all my other measurements down below but hopefully that helps you because mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna get adjusted but I know how hard it is to find a bikini that you feel sexy confident hot whatever and then fits you right and I'm giving you my blunt honest review you get to see how it looks I have a belly I am not skinny and this is their XXL stuff so nothing is XL it's all XXL aka 2x which is considered plus size I believe so let's start with the lime green which I thought was gonna be my favorite because I love neon and stuff and I was like oh this is so cute with like the little turtle uh turtle tortoise shell um rings and the bottoms look like this yeah first of all I could get the bottoms on but my belly hangs out which isn't like a huge deal I also pulled them up over my belly and then it just hangs out the side not a big deal but like I don't really think their bottoms fit me the way that I would wear them around like family and in public and stuff at the beach I, I don't really care what I wear but like comfort wise these go all the way up my butt crack and you can see there's a pretty big butt it's not meant to be a thong but it becomes one and then also it is not high-waisted so just keep that in mind this was eh to me, I don't think I'm going to be keeping this one. And this is what the um, top looks like. And the actual top has padding in it, which I was actually kind of excited about because I was like, oh my gosh, if this is XXL and it fits my big knockers, then maybe it'll push them together because having natural boobs one of the hardest things is to find something that like naturally pushes them together and I thought it would right this reminds me so much of the airy they have a triangle top with push-up but it just doesn't do what I needed to do I feel like there's something missing with it and if you actually are probably like a triple D then maybe the XL or this XXL would be good but I'm a 42G. I think I I spill out every spot, side, like top, bottom, sides. Um, I don't think it was very flattering. This style, I do not recommend if you have a really big chest like mine. Um, anything bigger than a triple D, I don't think would look good. Maybe an E, but that's, that's about it. Because like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So if you're an F or a G, I really don't think it would look good. Or if you're bigger than that. So lime green, uh, didn't really approve of the style, but I love the lime color. Next this one so this style i'm actually gonna pull a different so i have like a few of them that are in like different styles so this style you can see here i love this blue color i loved the pink um these were about 40 dollars or 35 dollars these tops and the cup is cute there's a little bit of padding in it which you know i'm always a fan of a little bit of push-up even though i don't need it it makes me feel good you know I was spewing out the sides I felt very uncomfortable actually when I went to bend over this hook just completely came off so I don't really think it fits very well and my hair kept getting caught in it I think it's really great if you actually fit this but like I said like I could wear this for a day I just would not purposely choose this I love the color but and it makes me look tan but that's about it same with this like they're all the same style so just so you can look at the cup this is what it looks like and it's really nice quality I just I think triple D and E would be better fit for this and that's probably what they recommend but I like to try things on for you guys now I think I had one more like that style nope I guess I didn't so those were the two that were like that style then I have another one of the first style like the lime green there's this really pretty butterfly 
I thought it was gonna be super cute on didn't hit wasn't a fan But you know what I was a fan of I mixed and matched so I have the bottoms and I think they look good I think they look nice. They're flattering my butt looks good My belly definitely hangs out, but I'm not a hater like I like these they're black with the butterflies overall They're great So I actually took these bottoms and you'll see in the clip that I'm inserting I took those bottoms and I matched it with this top this top was so cute definitely a winner I'm gonna be keeping this one because I just think it looked so flattering and I looked good I felt good um there is underwire but it doesn't really affect me because like the way that this is styled I'm not actually a huge fan of but I am a fan of like I the underwire doesn't really do anything for me but it looks really good and the ruching at the top it's a different material than the other one on the other cups it just fits differently it kind of like doesn't feel like I'm wearing underwire it just feels like fabric and it's soft and I don't know there's just something about this that looks really good I feel like this is flattering for like bigger boobs if you're really desperate to like fit something and look good in something this was a good mix and match and I had another one I really like but this one opened on its own when I bent over so I I don't know if I need to like maybe buy an extender clip right here like if they have that I might buy an extender clip because I think the band itself is like a little too snug on these but like overall it looks good from the front this is the other one same style these cost I don't even know if there's a tag on this one. Let me see if this one has a price. Yeah, this has a price. Okay, I guess. Oh no, here's the price. Yeah, it is $35 as well. XXL. And it has the little string and I don't think I'm gonna untie it. Um, my friend, she told me, she was like, you should just untie it and see if it like makes it a little bigger. I think it's mainly meant for design. I could be wrong though. So if you guys know, answer it. But it looks like it's for design by just the look. I don't know. But this one I paired with blue bottoms that I showed you earlier, the color that I love. Like, look at how cute that looks together. So, personally for me, I like this together. It makes me look tan. So, I'm gonna be keeping those two sets and hopefully I'll be able to wear them. So, with this one, I personally felt like it ran a little bit smaller than I'm used to. I didn't like it. I would not wear this. I think it was a cute idea and it's like, it just doesn't fit me. I feel like the fabric itself is not stretchy, but this fabric with like, the detailing I don't know if you can see but a lot of that stuff that I bought the fabric is definitely more stretchy and I'll, and I'll show you like I have a couple more this is the same fabric as this next set I'm gonna show you right here same fabric did not like the bottoms on either of them this bottom was $26.95 not worth it to me but if you're skinnier this would be great right so I don't really approve of that I don't approve of this outfit either so if you guys are like which one do I avoid at all costs hundred percent if you're a thick big girl like me do not buy this top it literally felt so uncomfortable nothing felt there's not enough fabric and I just oh gosh I'm, I would never put this on again I put it on for like three seconds and I think I filmed a clip and then I was like I ripped it off this one no go um let me see if I can find the price it was $30 and I personally think $30 isn't that expensive for a bikini top not worth 30 at all and if you're bigger don't even try and fit into this one because no it's it's not it then the bottoms that come with it are the same style as the pink kai-dye bottoms I just showed you, right? But they're not high-waisted. And I thought they'd fit really well. I was not a fan. They just cut in weird places and I didn't like it. I, I feel like the other styles were a lot more flattering. So this one is a no-go either. Then we get to this last one. I love the bottoms right here. Like I said before, a lot of the fabric are like this. So some of them aren't, but like this blue one, they're the same fabric. And the fabric itself, if you can kind of see, is very like... I don't know there's something about it. It's stretchy. It's great. Also the bottoms are $30 as well This one I felt like was worth it you know, like I liked the bottom, but I did not like the top. The reason why I didn't like the top was if it was halter top style, which I didn't notice when I was in the store, which you probably wouldn't notice either. It's a shoulder strap style, which to me, when you have huge boobs, halter top looks, you don't have to agree with me, but like I think halter top looks way better and the shoulder strap isn't supportive enough because like it's not pulling them together. Like they could just flop out at any moment. Like I didn't feel like the strings were even long enough and I just felt like I was fighting to even get it on. So I didn't even get a clip of me wearing this, but it, it's just it was a mess and this one costs $33 so I would never spend $33 on a shirt I don't like the shoulder straps not it for me I would also not recommend this one um but 
for the reason of like it was comfortable until you got to the top the bottoms are great I would have mixed and matched it honestly with like the white top or something stay away from that I don't think it was cute it was kind of like a nuisance these are the ones I'm gonna keep these are the best fitting ones and I paired it with this bottom and I feel like it made me look really tan and nice and the sad part is I think it was about four hundred dollars for all of that stuff and these are the only things that worked which is fine but don't go and do what I did where you got super excited that they started selling something and I might even try and add an extra hook because it hooks like this and like I like it but I think I need a little bit more length um and then I think it'll fit really well but I loved how flattering the boobs looked because I think when you get at least for me like I have boobs I want to show them off I want to look hot sexy whatever and then feel comfortable like I'm not going to fall out of it and I feel like with this top I feel the closest to comfortable and I just feel like myself also the straps are adjustable on these ones and I feel like the sets were not meant to fully be together but they look great together and like I think they're mix and match like look at that looks so good together let me know which one is your favorite in the comments down below and I hope that you guys enjoyed also in the description if you go to my link tree link you will see all of my different places to find me so yeah I appreciate you and have a great day great night Mwah. bye guys